Tyree Nichols' funeral. The event calls into question how the Biden White House goes about deciding which atrocities, which tragedies merit high-level attention from the president or the vice president. So in addition to the Nichols funeral, for example, we saw that the president called the parents of Damar Hamlin, an injured NFL player. I checked the White House website just before coming into the briefing room today, and I see no indication that the chief executive has at any time reached out to the family of Justin McIntyre, who was the police chief in Brackenridge, Pennsylvania, who was shot to death in the line of duty, a father of four. Why not? I think the two that you just named were just very public. They were two incredibly public situations that, um, uh, that uh, where, you know, uh, where, um, where the president was able to reach out in a way that, um, that people knew about, right? That people were able to see how the president uses um, what he does so well you are showing who you all are, really. The gentlewoman's I know time has expired. Omar will not be silenced. The gentlewoman's time has Congress expired. Omar, the Omar, I gentlewoman's am so sorry, time has sis, expired. That our country is failing you today through this chamber. You the, belong The gentlewoman is no longer recognized, and the, the gentleman from Mississippi is recognized. They bring to the floor of the House of Representatives today a resolution on socialism to condemn some dictators that we all condemn. But understand, the goal of this phony, fake, and fraudulent resolution is just to somehow provide cover for extreme MAGA Republicans to try to undermine an agenda that is designed to lift up the health, safety, and well-being of the American people. Now, the other thing that's going to occur today relates to this effort to remove, in a partisan fashion, Representative Ilhan Omar from the Foreign Affairs Committee. After House Democrats unanimously voted for Ilhan to continue her service on the Foreign Affairs Committee, a refugee elected to the United States Congress, duly sent back to the House by her constituents in Minnesota. Now, Representative Omar certainly has made mistakes. She has used anti-Semitic tropes that were clearly and unequivocally condemned by House Democrats when it took place four years ago. Um, this weekend, the Democratic National Committee is voting to approve a new calendar for the 2024 primaries and caucuses. Uh, it's going to put South Carolina first, followed if they have their way with Nevada and New Hampshire going second, Georgia and Michigan after that. I know you cannot specifically discuss politics because of the Hatch Act, or at least that's what you probably tell us. But I'm curious if the president himself will ever speak publicly about his calls and the letter he sent to the DNC saying that so this should happen. I, I will say this. Uh, it's not what I say. It's the rule of law. No, I and I, I just want to be clear. I don't. Oh. You kind of just threw it out there as if it's a personal decision here. No, no, no. It is the rule of law, and we yeah. believe the rule of law here. We follow it. Um, you know, I have not had that conversation with the president. I'm going to be, you know, very honest with you. I've not talked to him about 2024. Is that something that uh, we can do from here? And I'm sure you will hear a lot more uh, from the, the former Rhode Island governor admits there are moments when the job feels surreal. Once in a while you sit there with the president, with the Secretary of Defense, on the eve of a war, you're like, wow. It sounded like you had something to say on the other one. Yes. What's um, your view how they organized that investigation with the justices? So, I, look, I'm not, going to, I'm not going to speak to the actions at the Supreme Court as it relates to uh, the investigation of the Dobbs decision. Uh, what I will say and reiterate what the president said the day that uh, uh, that the Dobbs decision occurred, right, which is back in June, uh, which is it was a it was a constitutional right for uh, and not just us. If you look at the midterms and and uh, what the American people said, and the president has spoken to this many many times before, and so I'll leave it there. I'm not going to speak to any uh, legal actions or uh, that were or investigations that were taken by the Supreme Court. 